you're looking to set up your Avada copyright footer section here, uh, there's a couple of quick tips that'll just make it smooth and easy sailing that I'm going to run through with you right quick. So first of all, if you have Avada installed on your WordPress website, then you should see this when you're logged in, you should see this uh, option here and then you can click through to global settings. That's where you're going to find all of the settings for stuff like the copyright footer section. So once we're here, we just come down to footer. And of course you can get here from the back end too, just through a lot of options and then click footer. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see this final section here. And it's pretty simple. It's just a, a basic HTML editor. Now I like to use this script here to automatically populate the date. And so what that does is when the date changes from 2020 to 2021 or 2021 to 2022, it'll automatically pull in that new date. So you don't have to worry about going and changing that every single year because it's a little difficult to keep track of. And in general, you just want to have, you know, the copyright, obviously, then the year and then the name of the business. So for this case, it's Missoula Lawn Services and then all rights reserved, meaning people can't just steal the stuff on your website. And as far as formatting goes, there are some different formatting options here. So you can center the copyright footer. You can actually completely remove the copyright bar if you wanted to do that. But I'm assuming you're wanting to learn how to set one up. So, uh, but that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. There's really not a whole lot else uh, to the copyright footer bar here other than just putting in the information that you want to have displayed there, choosing if you want it to be centered. If you don't do centered, it'll be justified left. And then, of course, you could save those settings and refresh the page, and you'll see them come through here. Uh, sometimes you'll want to have, you know, website designed by, so you can put an HTML link there that goes off to the designer of the website. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So if there's anything you have questions about with the Avada copyright footer area, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care.